So I got a bad review this week. Um, no, I got two. If you have a store, that's gonna happen. Here's how you deal with it. And welcome back to the Angry Teacher channel. I'm Richard Williams, the Angry Teacher, and if you own a TPT store like I do, you will run into some bad reviews. They're not always gonna be glowing in a five out of five, or four out of five, you will have some ones or twos. Um, I'm sure if they had a note on scorable, I'd probably get one of those too. So let's get into the video on how to deal with these bad reviews. So like I said before, I have 55 reviews on my um, fairly new store and I have three negative ones. And they really floored me, like the because we, we are creators and these are some of the things we actually use in our classes, it truly hurts and wounds when somebody doesn't like it or doesn't understand it because you start questioning yourself like, are my kids getting it then? Or did I do something wrong? Or what didn't you like? Because some people don't tell you and some overshare. Like um, if it worked for my kids and you didn't use it the way I wanted you to use it and then now you're complaining, what really is going on here you know is it constructive or are you just venting because it didn't work for you the way you thought it would even though there were instructions but you know it is what it is the first two i got which were earlier in my you know in the store's history in this the first two were earlier when the store opened up and i sulked around for days i didn't know how to respond i don't know if i should respond I, you know, got in my feelings because literally the name of my store is The Angry Teacher. So, you know, my anger was rising and I was thinking, do these people even understand what's going on or how to use it? Or maybe they don't have the kind of kids that, you know, I have. And, you know, it was all a bunch of personal stuff and I'm, I felt wounded because that was me. That was, you're talking about the stuff that came from here and came from here. It literally came from the heart. So, you know, I was in my feelings. And then because of the way i've been thinking lately about my store being what if this were a brick or mortar store it, my aim one of my aims rather is to be like a target or a walmart for english ed educators whatever they come in whatever they teach from sixth through 10 um 12th grade even some college level some um first year even second year because i have some poetry that i don't even know if high school kids can handle that anymore but just being able to come in and find what they need and grab and go that's the kind of stuff I'm, I'm trying that's what I'm trying to aim for and if it was a brick and mortar store if everybody who comes in is not gonna like everything for example there's a Walmart by the house that I shop at in South Florida or some random store anyway sometimes I would go in not find what I need or be unsatisfied with what I bought but I'd still go back later for something else because you know that's what we do in any case I realized three things. People don't read the descriptions. Sometimes, now, do I put as much as other people? No, not in the description. Because it's ironic. Teachers are always in a hurry to buy stuff, though, so we've been told for TPT, yet I'm expected to write a dissertation for the description and you're gonna sit there and go through everything and figure out what's going on. Eh. I have the descriptions, I have the PDF previews, I have the thumbnails. I have so much going on that you could see what it is. And I think two of the things that, two of the three, I believe, that people were giving me the bad reviews on, they were lesson activities. I made a whole video, videos on my website. The description tells you these are lesson activities. You have to teach the kids first. These are just to help you with the lesson. They're just activities that you can use and there's a whole lot, lot of them. Whatever you choose to use, that's up to you. You can jump to take some out, not use some, use four, not use the others. It's up to you. That's why it's just a di different range of activities for different um, di differentiating um, instruction, for different levels of kids. It is just for just the activities. and. You know, so it, once again, I took it personally because I don't think they understood how to use it. So I, you know, sent my cordial responses and I said, hey, 
is there something I could do to, to help, you know, the, the, the usage of this product or what can I change? Or did you read the description? Um, obviously no response. So it is what it is. The first one, people don't read the descriptions as fully as they should. Or if they don't understand it and don't look at the previews, then obviously there's going to be a disconnect. I'm not sure of the motivation for people who do these reviews. Are you telling me to help me? Or are you bashing a product because you didn't use it correctly? Or you didn't understand the usage? Or it didn't work out in your classroom? We all know as teachers, sometimes when we have something in our head and we've planned the greatest lesson ever and we go and something doesn't work out, then the lesson falls flat for one particular class. And so you have to change or not use it for the others. It is what it is. So I'm concerned about some of the, the motivation and the responses to some of the products and the, the reviews that people leave. Lastly guys, and here's a very positive note. I've also realized that the one bad review doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It doesn't. Doesn't mean it's the end of the product either. Now, if they suggest stuff or they say something that you can consider, hey, go for it. If not, things go on. Life will go on for them, life will go on for you, life will go on for your store and the product. Now, I get to check my sales after school. Now I could check it during, but it's become a thing for me now. I sit in the parking lot when I'm my car, I'm getting ready to leave and I'm getting ready to, ready to hit the, the road for the 40 minute ride home. And I'm just like checking my reviews to see, checking my sales to see how many people bought it. And then I saw the review and so I read it and you know, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So I have to wait till I get home to check to see what happened. And Here's how you should cope with bad reviews if you get them. And you may not because I was rolling for a while without getting any. And, you know, after I sucked and got over the first two, now there's a new one that came up on something that was that's basically new, you know. And come to realize that I realize I'm treating things differently. Even though I'm the angry teacher, I don't respond the same way anymore. Maybe because I was tired during all of September slash October. Um... I don't know what it was, but I'm treating it differently. And here's how I suggest you deal with yours. Number one, breathe. Calmly read what the review is saying. Now, some may just give you dissatisfied or whatever, and some may give you the reasons why they're dissatisfied. Whichever it is, just breathe and don't get emotional right then. Even though it's personal, even though it's you, you feel it's you that they're attacking, take it, take it easy, calm down, and just read it. See if there's something being said that's not being said. Or, here's number two, check the product. Maybe they're right. For, for example, the most recent review was on a product that I, I uploaded the wrong version of the product. It's a shorter version and it didn't have everything that I wanted, just like all the other sets that you know I put out there. So, I realized that it was my mistake. And I, I normally do check them, but I told you it was a horrible September. Um, well, you know, in other aspects of, you know, what was going on with work and whatever. And so I realized that, okay, maybe the customer didn't see all the other glowing parts that other people saw. So I had to upload the new one. I, 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 as soon as I got home, I, I fixed the problem and uploaded it and made a response and sent it back. Once again, there's no response. But here's what happened, guys. Oh my God, you're gonna think I'm lying, but I'm not. I sold the product right after. The next day, somebody bought the same thing. Now, they haven't responded yet, so I don't know if it's, hopefully they find it better than the last customer, but they bought the same thing. Actually, I bought, I sold two bundles right after as well, that same day. So, um, that's why I'm telling you, even though they're bad reviews and it hurts, it's not the end of the road for you. It's not the end of your store. There's going to be somebody else who likes your products. And if it were brick and mortar, always keep that in your head. If it's brick and mortar and somebody comes through the door and they don't like this and they're arguing with you at the, at the, count, at the checkout, the point of sale, they're checking out and they don't like something or they're complaining about something, there's somebody else in the store walking around picking up something that they're going to be purchasing. So don't make a bad review, make a bad day um, or think that you should give up on your dream of owning your business, okay? With that said, number three, let the response sit, let, let their response sit for a while, mull it over, see if it makes sense to you, see if you can adjust, see if they're, they're just um, complaining for no reason, or if there's some validity to what they're saying. Number four, try to address the issue. Uh, 
Hello, customer X. Is there something that you didn't like with slide four? Oh, I realized that it was supposed to be black and white, but I uploaded the wrong version or blah, blah, blah. Let me help you with this. Let me do this for you. Can I help in such and such a way? Here's my email, blah, blah, blah. And I did that for one. She didn't really change anything, but um, no, that was a question. She was asking if I could give her another version of something. So she wanted to edit and you know, that's fine. Just see if you can help in any way because maybe they really didn't understand something or maybe you weren't clear enough there's so many different issues through online interactions that get lost in translation so just see if there's any validity um, see if you can help uh, see if you can address the issue if it's something that you can't help then you know it is going to be what it is now other TPT sellers have recommended asking TPT to take that negative I'm at the point now where my work stands for itself I have these products, I have people who've liked them, I have way more glowing responses to the products versus the negative. So I'm not even going to go through that because that reminds me I need to be on my game. Plus if TPT has a better, you know, <laughs> a faster system I'd probably do that. But I'm not going to stress over the three bad ones that I have. And <laughs> like I said, somebody bought the same product and hasn't said anything negative yet or positive but they, they just bought the, the product so I don't know if they even read the the reviews by other people and it brought down my my store um, ratings but it's still my ratings are still high so I'm not too worried about it right now if it becomes an issue if I keep getting negative then obviously I'm gonna have to do something but right now I'm cool I'm cool with it it just depends on how you choose to deal with it and lastly answer succinctly don't belabor the point don't get in your feelings and well ha, did you read this and if you knew that this is that and blah 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 just you know thank you ma'am for the purchase i apologize for blah 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 here's blah 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 and you know what i don't even i wouldn't even say apologize just say you understand the situation thank you for your purchase thank you for bringing this to my attention i will address it because you're doing stuff by yourself. You're doing it in between changing the baby. You're doing it between cooking and, and grading and doing all this stuff. Likely that something negative will happen and so they just brought it to your attention. So hopefully these teachers understand also. And even if, you know, yes, we are exchanging money, but you're still human and you're still working through it. A simple, is there any way I could have or blah, 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 instead of coming at people, it, it would be a different approach, but it is what it is. That's how I deal with my bad reviews, guys. Uh, especially now and it took me a while to get to this point because I sometimes I don't see why I would sit if I bought something and it didn't work out for me I'm sitting there and I'm going through this whole litany of issues and all this stuff who has time for that the reason why you bought the product is that you didn't have time so now you found the time to sit down and go through all this you could have been planning a whole lesson by yourself but anyway let me let me not I digress um, so that's how I deal with it that's how I suggest you deal with it Guys, it's not the end of the world, it's not the end of the products, it's not the end of your store, it's not the end of your journey. There will be bad reviews, there are going to be a lot of other good ones, you'll still make sales and life will go on. Go out there and rock TPT, rock your business, build your business, pay attention to what's being said. If it's something that you can use and may be better, then pay attention to it. If it's just negative, harping on and something that they didn't like. Push it to the side and keep on trucking. You got this. All right, guys. Love y'all. See you in the next video.